Hello, I'm Lauren Brohan from the UW Foster Schools Burke Center for Entrepreneurship. Welcome to the 2021 Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge Awards. This was the 13th year for the EIC. Students from colleges and universities across the Pacific Northwest really stepped up and showcased some incredible ideas to make positive change. To the students, we celebrate your enthusiasm, your creativity, and your desire to take the next step. To the mentors, coaches, judges, and sponsors, you helped elevate this year's challenge for the students. And I'm sure you are as excited as we are to see how these ideas impact our region's ecosystem in the years to come. It was inspiring to see everyone come together online for hours to showcase innovations, pitches, demo videos, and prototypes. It was truly a great day. Every team that took part in the competition, including those who didn't advance, received feedback from the judges. We want every team's journey to continue and we hope it will. And in a moment, we'll announce the awards. But first, here's the Burke Center's director, Amy Salin. Hi, I'm Amy Salin. I'm always inspired by our students, and this year especially, as they rose to the challenge and showed an innovative and creative spirit. I also love the process of the EIC, guiding students as they create solutions to problems while starting them down the path to commercialization and hopefully launching a business. This process is successful because of the support of our community. And it's my privilege to thank our sponsors who remain deeply committed to supporting student innovation. Our champion sponsors are Alaska Airlines and the UW College of Engineering. Our innovator sponsors, the Herbert B. Jones Foundation and the UW Clean Energy Institute. Our steward sponsors, Eric Carlson, Starbucks, WRF Capital, UW Earth Lab, Christensen O'Connor Johnson Kindness, Puget Sound Energy, Baker Hostetler, UW SIBA, Perkins Coie Foundation, McKinstry, UW Department of Biology, James and Page Spee, and Rye Strategy. Many thanks to you all, our deepest appreciation for everything you do for our students. Now it's time to announce the prizes. Back to you, Lauren. This year, we'll be awarding more prize money than ever before, and it starts with our big picture prizes. These $5,000 awards were created to reward student teams in the Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge for their exceptional work in distinct categories. The winning teams were selected by the judges during the challenge round using specific criteria. Let's start with the Clean Energy Prize sponsored by the UW Clean Energy Institute. This prize has been with us since the Institute was first formed and recognizes a student innovation that can reduce carbon emissions through solar energy production, electrical energy storage, conversion and distribution, and energy efficiency. Here's Dan Schwartz, Director of the Clean Energy Institute. Hi there, I'm Dan Schwartz, Director of the University of Washington's Clean Energy Institute. We are dedicated to accelerating the adoption of a scalable clean energy future. One of the first things we did upon our founding in 2013 is go out and create the Clean Energy Prize. Innovation is essential to the clean energy future and this year's teams did not disappoint at all. So I'm super honored to announce this year's winner of the Clean Energy Prize. Congratulations. Congratulations to Potentially Energy. Our next big picture prize is the Earth Lab Community Impact Prize. This prize recognizes an innovation that mitigates or makes communities more resilient in the face of climate change, while also prioritizing equity and justice. Here is Ben Packard, director of the UW Earth Lab to award the prize. Hi, I'm Ben Packard, executive director of Earth Lab here at the University of Washington. Earth Lab is a visionary institute that pushes boundaries to address our most pressing environmental challenges with a current focus on climate and its intersection with social justice. We connect across the university and to partners in the wider community to co-produce actionable research for local and global impact. Part of our mission is to foster the next generation of innovative students, which is why we're so proud to support the Burke Center's Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge. 
Our Community Impact Prize recognizes innovation in developing a product, solution, or demonstrate a business model that mitigates or makes communities more resilient in the face of climate change while prioritizing equity and justice. We're very excited to see what the teams had to offer this year. So the winner of this year's 2021 Earth Lab Community Impact Prize is. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations, CP Systems. Now to our final big picture prize, which is brand new to the competition. The Climate Challenge Prize rewards a team that has thoughtfully incorporated and quantified carbon footprint into the development and communication of their innovation. Sponsor Eric Carlson, who is a board member of the E8 Angel Investing Group, joins us now to give out the first Climate Challenge Prize. Hi, I'm Eric Carlson, a board member of the Clean Tech Angel Investment Group E8. I've worked in the environmental field my whole career first as an architect, and then as an energy and environmental consultant throughout the US and around the world. I'm delighted to sponsor the Climate Challenge Prize at this year's Environmental Innovation Challenge. I'm a proud UW alum and have been an EIC judge for seven years. During this time, it has been rewarding to learn about environmental innovations from passionate student teams throughout the Pacific Northwest. Student environmental innovation is part of a larger clean tech innovation system that makes the Pacific Northwest a leader in addressing climate change. Each year, we have learned from these student teams. This year, we have been particularly interested in how teams identified, quantified, and communicated the climate benefits of their innovations. We want to congratulate each and every one of you for putting your best foot forward. So without further ado, the winner of the Climate Challenge Prize is... Congratulations. Congratulations, Clear Ascent. And thank you to Eric and all of our Big Picture Prize sponsors for supporting student innovation and entrepreneurship. Now, to introduce the top three awards, here's Amy Salen. Thanks, Lauren. You know, we are so proud of all the finalists that competed in this year's EIC. We hope you'll visit our blog and read more about what they're working on. We expect big things from them in the future. So without further ado, let's get to the top three prizes. We start with the $5,000 third place prize presented by Starbucks. Here's Chris McFarlane, Program Manager in Waste Strategy for Starbucks. Hi, I'm Chris McFarlane. I'm a Program Manager at Starbucks on our Sustainability Strategy Team. I support our waste reduction efforts as we work to achieve our ambitious 2030 sustainability targets to reduce our carbon footprint, water footprint, and waste sent to landfill by 50%. Starbucks is so proud to be participating in our hometown University of Washington's Environmental Innovation Challenge. And we are so inspired by the amazing and innovative work all of the teams have done. It's so reassuring to know the future of the fight against climate change is going to be led by such bright student entrepreneurs. What's that smell? Is it the cocoa and citrus aromas of the Starbucks dark roast? No, it's a winner. I'm happy to announce the third place winner is Scrapless. Congratulations. This is so exciting. Let's keep it moving now. Time for the $10,000 Herbert B. Jones Foundation second place prize. Here's foundation president, Michael Bauer. Hi, I'm Michael Bauer. I'm president of the Herbert B. Jones Foundation. It's our pleasure to support competitions like this to provide a venue for learning for each of you and your experience in becoming entrepreneurs or small business people. On behalf of the trustees of the foundation and especially our mentor, Herbert Jones, this year's second prize goes to Green Loop. Congratulations. Now for the grand prize. Let's bring in our naming sponsor, Alaska Airlines, who's such an incredible supporter of the Burke Center and student innovation. 
To announce the grand prize, we're joined by Kirk Myers, Director of Sustainability for Alaska Airlines. Hello all, I'm Kirk Myers, Sustainability Director at Alaska Airlines, and I am so excited to be talking with you all right now. The Environmental Innovation Challenge is one of my favorite days of the year, and I got to experience and connect with teams who brought amazing ideas around entrepreneurship, innovation, solutions that I hope and I believe will help solve some of the challenges our planet faces moving forward. Uh, with that, you know, Alaska Airlines has been a longtime sponsor, and we are very, very excited to continue in this work in partnership um, with the students and with all the teams that hopefully will continue to do great things moving forward. With that, I won't delay what you're all waiting to hear. Um, so I get to proudly announce the Alaska Airlines grand prize winner of the Environmental Innovation Challenge is Puget Bowie. Congratulations to the team Puget Bowie, as well as all the other teams. And we're very much looking forward to seeing where you all end up. And finally, before we end the awards ceremony, here's Lauren to tell you about our final special prize. Thanks, Amy. As many of you know, we'd like to recognize that there are more than a few great teams. In the past, we've awarded a $1,000 Judges Also Really Liked Award. Last year, we renamed the award in honor of our former director, Connie Barasa Shaw, who always found the spark in our student entrepreneurs. This year, we asked Connie to come back and give out the award that bears her name. Hello, I'm Connie Barasa Shaw, the former director of the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship, now retired. Uh, being retired means that I get to be a judge at events like the Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge, which is a real pleasure. When we launched the EIC 13 years ago, our goal was to promote student creativity and ingenuity from practical solutions that we could employ right away to novel ideals that could have a substantial impact down the road. We need them all. They give us hope for our climate future. You've just met the teams that have won the main awards at this year's Environmental Innovation Challenge. And I congratulate them all. Good job, keep going. But I can tell you there's always a team or two that hold real promise that don't finish in the top three. Teams that the judges really liked and wanted to encourage. So the Connie Barassa Shaw Spark Award was created to provide a little bit of money so that the teams could keep working on their ideas. This year's winner of the Spark Award is Congratulations. Congratulations, Xterra. And congratulations to all the prize winners at the 2021 Alaska Airlines Environmental Innovation Challenge and all of the teams who competed as well. I also want to thank our team here at the Burke Center, our colleagues in the Foster School and the University of Washington, our partners at colleges and universities across the region, and the incredible judges and sponsors who took part in this year's competition. We can't wait to see you in 2022.